The following program is brought to you by the National Commission for Families and Children in collaboration with the National Parenting Task Force and UNICEF. You want to say something? Yeah. Show me the thing, man. What? Nah. Nah, you are too. Boy, show me the thing, man. You remember Miss Degna's granddaughter from up the street? Yeah. She just come from the States. You know, the States, girl, they're different. They're not here for nothing. Why? So what do you mean? And what you talk about? That's it. Why? Then you can send me that kind of picture there? Eh? Yeah. She sent me it, and I didn't even ask her for it. That's not funny, you know? You think you're cool because you have a naked picture in your phone? You're not cool. You don't want to fool my boy. You know if somebody borrowed your phone, or you lost your phone, and they share that out of your phone, and police call you for you, you going to jail, you know? I can't save you. Jail? Yes, jail. When you do that kind of thing there, you ruin her life and your life. Honestly, Uncle, I didn't even think about it. Delete that picture there now. Yes, Uncle. Hi, Miss Edna. How are you doing? I'm good, girl. Out right now to run while you're on. All right. Well, that good for here. I'm in the car for check if I could pass by your house to talk to you and Emily, but on the out. Something wrong? Well, I mean, just want to discuss some concerns about internet use with Emily and Jason before anything goes wrong. Oh, okay. Well, I will be out for a little while, but Emily is right at home if you want to chat with her first, and then you and I catch up on the phone later. All right. Thanks. I appreciate that. I want to call you later then. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye. Hi, Emily. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. All right. Yeah. I called your granny earlier, and they told me I'm going to stop by for talk to you, Angie. I really feel like it's important that we talk about appropriate and inappropriate online conduct to you know, have access to you know, you know, devices unsupervised, but it is important to remember to be responsible when using it. I think I know that. Now, I know a lot has changed since I am a young person. You guys have access to all types of sites and new technology, but one thing that will never change is being wise while using the tools that you have. Emily, I saw the pictures that you shared with Jason. And I understand that, you know, in this generation, sex thing is how you guys communicate. But I really need to think about how that can impact your life. Miss Dana, I promise I won't do it again. But I didn't show my face or anything. Right, and I understand that this is how young people communicate, but there are other ways to show somebody that you're interested or to flirt with them because this could have long-term implications for you. But I only sent them to Jason. Right, but it's not like you two are married. What if you decide that next week you don't like each other again? Would you still want him to have access to those photos? Jason recently learned about the cybercrime laws of Belize where a person can go to jail if they share nudes or explicit content about somebody else without their permission. And I don't think Jason's show it enough for share them there. Auntie, I don't delete them. Child, I just need you to understand that it's okay to say no if someone sends you those images. But I didn't ask her to send me those pictures. Yes, but you didn't say you didn't want them either. I know boys like these things. I'm sorry if I make you feel like I wanted those pictures, Emily. But I was surprised when you sent me those pictures. I mean, I don't mind. Auntie, I'm sorry too. I show Uncle Pablo the pictures, and I see enough people repetition get ruined because of these kind of stuff going viral and everything. And I couldn't imagine how this can affect your family. I mean, I don't delete them. Well, I'm glad we had this talk. I know it's a very uncomfortable one, but it's very important that we have that kind of discussions because it really could affect you a lot. Emily, I will be calling your grandmother for your data plan discussion we just had. Granny, what kill me? I know, but 
you have to know so just be prepared that you might vex one time but thanks so much for the chat emily let's go bye bye, bye. this was a very uncomfortable topic to discuss indeed but as parents, you sign up for these types of things. Having open conversations with your kids can save them a lot of pain and teach them a lot of lessons. Being a parent has many responsibilities, but ensuring your child is on the right path is one of the most important. Christian! Guess what? Birthday just gone, and mommy sent a gift to you. It just come. Ready to see? Mm. All right. Da, 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 da. I wonder what it is. Wow, a tablet. Your own tablet. All right, so let's set it up. Mm. So. We need to set it up so that you can have access to the things you can see, or you're allowed to see, and then we lock off the things that you're not able to see as a child, yes? Set it up, I done do it. Not that kind of set up, man. I mean that how we have to fix it so that you could see some things and some things you can't see because you're not still a child, yes? Can I have my own Facebook and create my own YouTube page? Mm, not yet, but if Facebook is an app that needs a lot of parental control and supervision, you can have access to YouTube, but no, no, baby. You cannot start your own YouTube channel yet. All right, so this is the most important part now of creating an account. We need a password. Now, it needs to be easy enough that you can remember but difficult so that these hackers can't guess what it is. Any ideas? I want my password to be snap the dog on. Snap because, the dog? Oh, because that's my favorite dog. All right, well, okay. Well then, to make it a little bit more safe, let's think about a number and add that number to snap the dog. What about my age? So Seven. Seven. Snap the dog seven. I think that'll work. Um, okay. So now you can't give nobody the password, right? No matter who asks, you don't give away that password because this tablet would have all your information and we don't want nobody getting there, right? Keep it protected. In this day and age, children are introduced to technology way too soon. But that's not something we can control anymore. What we can control is how they operate on these devices. Children being safe online should be every parent's responsibility. After all, they're only kids and require their parents' constant supervision to keep them out of trouble. You know, I think me and me do a project about internet safety a while back, you know. I feel like it up on this laptop right here. I got you. The internet has become a big part of our everyday life. From smartphones to computers, even TVs use it. But how many of us ask the question, how safe is it and how safe am I? Hi, I'm Mia and today we're going to talk about internet safety. There are five tips we're going to talk about to make your time on the internet much safer. These tips include using safe and smart passwords, practicing safe mobile safety, avoiding malware, practicing social safety, and being involved parents. Number one, safe and smart passwords. Do you have a friend or family member who think they have the coolest password and it's something like password one or I love the kuna? I know, I have a few. Passwords are very important. They protect access to our devices, accounts, and pretty much all of our digital personal items. So. Don't you think that we should create a password that's so strong that no one can guess it? Exactly! It is tempting to want to use an easy password we can remember, but that also makes it easy for bad guys to guess. So, think of something smart and clever, and do not share your password with anyone ever! Number 2. Mobile Safety Telephones are so advanced now that they're basically little computers in our hands. That's crazy, right? 
Unlike our computers, we should protect them all the same. Our phones have pictures, videos, and other personal important items that we do not want stolen. So, we should put passwords on our phones. Number three, avoid malware. Are you ever browsing on a page and see a pop-up? And when you tap or click on it, your computer or phone starts acting all weird, or a lot more pop-ups appear? That's called malware, short for malicious software. Malware can slow your computer or phone down, give it a dangerous virus that can damage the device, or even give hackers access to your device. These viruses can damage your device permanently, or hackers can see any private and important documents or information off your devices. So, when looking at pop-ups, emails, or messages that look fishy, just say no, N-O, and always update your devices. Updates actually bring additional features to your device to better protect it from any harmful viruses or people. Number four, social safety. Do you know who the worst threat to you on the internet is? It's you. Well, really it's you posting or uploading something. Remember, what you post on the internet stays on the internet. So, you should be mindful of the things you post or share, what you say, and even who you share things with. This information may have been posted or shared innocently, but it can be used to hurt you and your family, whether physically, reputationally, or otherwise. Protect yourself by only adding people on social media that you know. And even then, only share certain posts with those you trust. The internet can be nasty, and so can people. Keep personal info personal. And if someone tries to bully you over the internet, just ignore them or try to report them, but do not answer them. You're only making it easier for them to get to you. Number five, parents, get involved. Parents, you have a responsibility to your children to not just ensure their physical safety, but their cyber safety as well. Talk to your kids and teenagers. Become more welcoming and open with them so that they know that they can talk to you and share what they're doing and what platforms they're using when they're on their devices. Shucks, do a little spot check if they're being too secretive with their devices. By being more involved, you do a lot more than any of these other points combined. My fellow teens, I know we hate when our parents interfere in what we're doing, especially when we're on our own devices, but we have to understand they're only looking out for us to ensure we're safe. Oh, well, there you go. Five easy steps on how to better protect yourself on the internet. Do you feel a little bit safer? I hope so. There's a lot to look out for on the internet. You can always research how to be more prepared and protected. It doesn't hurt to be more protected. Thank you and safe surfing. I think I'll show this to the family. What do you think? With everything that was taking place, Andana wanted to ensure that we were safe. I was dealing with cyberbullying and slut shaming, Jason with nudes, Lisa learning her device still, and Christian introduced to the internet. That was a rough time, given all that was happening in the world. I could clearly remember that night Andana couldn't sleep because she was looking at all the apps possible to protect us. Yow, this look good. What are you doing? I try to keep them picnic safe on the internet. Christian just gave my tablet and all them picnic need monitoring. You know they have apps that could notify you if your child is searched for any word that you might find alarming, like gun or kill, or any word that you might find to be harmful. And it could notify you if they to share any personal information, like the home address, the social security number, or even the names of the family members. And you could also block sites. And they could notify you if they call any unknown number when you're saving at the phone or the tablet. Girl, that's amazing. I never even knew we had that in Belize. You could share the link? All right, girl, right now I send it to you. Thinking back at it, we were really lucky to have people in our lives that cared so much about our safety, not just physically, but also what could affect us and our family online. Some friends of mine didn't really have that from their family. Parents should really take a bigger interest in their kids' lives. 
it does a lot more than they think. The preceding program was brought to you by the National Commission for Families and Children in collaboration with the National Parenting Task Force and UNICEF.